Good morning, everybody, and this is your S&P 500 day trade setups for today. So uh, we had a pretty strong day yesterday, and uh, <clears throat> just goes to show, you know, once the trend is up, the trend is up. There's no real reason to be looking for anything else except longs. Uh, been volatile the last, uh, well, this week, big down, big up, big confusion. We're still in this triangle, so I um, was still sit on hands as of yesterday, but we're going to have a look now to see what... What has transpired? Is there anything that any levels have been created that we need to pay attention to? So, first things first, on the three hour, uh, we threw the triangle, uh, granted, but we also top of what used to be a range back here. And you can see this uh, area here at 41.75 is sort of the top end of this range. And uh, we haven't really got through this area. And you can see we tried there, double top. And now we've got a pin bar just outside this um, triangle. So moving averages haven't really done anything for me at the moment. So as far as I'm concerned, this is still a consolidation pattern, albeit a big one. So right now, if we look at the hour, I'm looking for structure. And uh, the structure, we can actually... Right, let's leave that level in. Let's just add that level. So we need to pick up on these tails here because these are the breakouts. So first breakout was this one, and you can see there was basically zero resistance at all, just broke straight through. Uh, second one, we got through, came back to test it, hovered around it, going into the close. So that's the first area that is fairly important. That's 41.54. Second area that's important is 41.43. So pullbacks back into that area with some decent price action on a lower time frame like 15 would get me long. It is Friday, it is the end of the week, and look at the weekly bar, the weekly bar is looking like another massive pin bar. Uh, buyers are coming in, for some reason buyers are coming in, so there's no real reason to be panicking about uh, loading up on the shorts at the moment. Anyway, that's my view at the moment, I'm looking for pullbacks on structure. This one here looks uh, 4154, 4150 just because that's a round number and 41.43 that's the area we need to pay attention to pull back back into there should get us uh, opportunities to buy into this for a move to the upside uh, a break of the top of this area here which is 41.75 or 41.76 actually break and retest of that is also an area where we need to pay attention to to get into this long but that's kind of my view at the moment Hasn't really been, all of yesterday, there was no real opportunity to get in, even though it was a solid green day. Uh, I need the pullbacks to test the, re the breakouts, and there weren't any. So, still sitting on hands, but we'll see what happens with these pullbacks. If we get pullbacks and we get some structure on the 15 minute, then uh, long it is. Anyway, that's it for me. Hope it helps, and uh, we'll catch up with you next week. Cheers for now.